All right, welcome back, car nerds. This is another episode of Fix or Pass, game show style. Um, as you recall from last week, we had all of you select a winner, and you all chose Chris Esparza, overwhelmingly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have chosen the winner, and the winner is Esparza! I'm not surprised. Sorry, Joe Sims, it was a good effort, but you didn't pull it. So this week, we have a new guest, Alex. He's also a car nerd, so this should be a great battle. What's up? Um, this week, we actually have rules. I know last time we didn't have rules, so that was kind of odd. The rules this week is you have two minutes to find a certain car on a certain platform, and you have 60 seconds to explain your decision. Also this time, we have a new rule where you can only spend maximum of 100,000 bucks, so that whatever the car cost is and the money you throw into it can't exceed 100 grand. So that's got a new stipulation for this week. Rules are important. Not that important. So let's get started. But before we get going, please subscribe to our channel. You could win a really beautiful Dodge Ram Charger. We're gonna give away that big old truck. Um, all right, let's get into it. The very first platform we're gonna choose from today is eBay. The big part here is you can search for any car. It doesn't have to be the certain ones that we had last time. Okay. You can search for a Charger, a Chevelle, Camaro, whatever you want. Whatever we like. All right, let's get to it. Two minutes. All right. 100 grand. We're gonna spend all this money. <laughs> How do you uh, search for your cars, Alex? Um, dude, usually I just use like Facebook Marketplace, um, offer up eBay Motors, um, set a budget, then type in what I'm looking for. All right. Yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. What are you looking for this time, as far as it? Um, just gonna look for a resto mod, whatever, whatever catches my eye. Uh, and I think it's worth the money. We got a big budget, so probably gonna get something nice out of this. Not so projecty, but uh, yeah, just perusing, you know. Kapow! You want to win this 75 Ram Charger? All you got to do is subscribe to the Resto Mods YouTube channel, and one of you guys is going to take it home when we hit 100,000 subscribers. It's coming fast. We got to get to work on this truck. You got to get to work subscribing to the channel, and you could win this thing. Let me read about this car. I don't even know. Same. Ah. I see it, I look at it. 10 seconds. It's awesome. Hmm. Three, two, one, and time on the collar. I made right. offers. <laughs> made an offer. No, don't do that. We're not doing these. that. Don't make offers. All right, let's lead off with uh, last week's winner, Chris Esparza. Tell us uh, what car you chose and why. Okay, so uh, all I did was search Resto Mod. I figure that's the most prevalent for uh, what we're doing here. Um, I went pretty close to the top of the budget. We're at seventy-eight thousand dollars, but. This car says it's a masterpiece right in the title. Wow. So I don't think Alex can even contest that. I don't know how you're gonna, no. I don't know how you're gonna argue with a masterpiece. I mean, it's just, <laughs> this car speaks for itself. Look at it. Just look at it. Would you no. look at it? Yeah. Just look at it. Um, so it's a, it's a really nice 71 Camaro, very uh, pro touring-esque, uh, $78,000. Let's pull up some big pictures. It's brown, um, which I like. You don't see these commonly in this color. I think it works on this car. It's got some neat touches, exhaust, wheels, tires, um, LED lighting. This is just a finished car. I mean, we're not at the full 100 grand, so if you wanted to put a better engine and trans maybe in this thing, um, it's got like a long list of aftermarket parts. I don't know how long I have to talk about it. I think I have one minute, but yeah. Um, what's, the, what's the bullet point? Let's just look at some more pictures. I think this car is just really nice. It's well finished. Um, it's on a turntable, so it's well presented. Uh, with whatever that counts for. Uh, but I just like this car. I just like the overall look of it. Um, and I like second gen Camaros. Uh, we were allowed to kind of yeah. just pick whatever we want. So I picked a resto mod. I kind of want to see the interior of this car. I, I don't feel like I didn't even have enough time to really, really Is there see. any good photos in there? Yeah, we're scrolling through them right now. Let me see. There's a lot of photos. By the magic of editing, we can make this happen. Okay, there you go. Really nice interior, actually. Perfect. Okay, this is a, yeah, this is a done car. Like, you could probably daily this car reliably and have no issues. Let's get stereo. Let's get to the engine compartment. I just want to show you guys the goods. Alex, see what you're up against. We've got a small block for the crate engine. AC, really nice underside. It's all finished. That exhaust. Yep, looks good. Um, so, yeah, nice finished car, like, well-built car. A lot of money, but that's a... Uh, that's where our budget's at, so 
All right. Thank you, Esparza. All right, Alex, this is your first time on the show. I'm sure you got a lot of nerves happening, but oh what God. did you choose and why? All right. I went with a classic 68 Camaro. Um, it's, um, sorry, I'm blinking. The reason why I chose this car is because it uh, already got a really good paint job. Um, from what I can see in the photos. You shouldn't yeah. start off by apologizing. Right, right. I think he's feeling pressure. Why did I choose this car? car? Oh, wait, okay, yeah, I know why. I know. Pressure's um, on, dude. So, yeah, looks like the body, the paint job, everything in that is in good condition. Um, it's got a running and driving 327 with a two speed trans. This car is uh, $49,000. So, still have a good chunk of the budget left over after buying this car. Big chunk. Also, it's in Nevada, so I could go pick it up today. Um, on top of that, it's running and driving, so I can drive this car while I piece together a swap for a like LS or something supercharged, a manual transmission. Um, this would be like the perfect candidate to make into a resto mod. It's already restored mostly, um, but it could definitely use a modern touch of like a bigger engine and some boost. I kind of like that green nose stripe. Yeah, it's, it's, different. it's it looks like with the green stripe, it gives it that like street cruiser yeah, vibe, cool. like less race Why, car. White can be like kind of boring. I think that's a good exactly. Accent. Yeah, with some. I mean, your car's trash. This one's way better. <laughs> Dude, Man. you can't even help it. You can't even help it. Look at this thing. Yeah, I just like cars. All right, ladies. Good work, you guys. We're going to move on to the second round. But first, please drop your comments in the comment section. This week, we're going to choose judges with our judging panel. But we'd still love to hear what oh. you have to say because last week you did a great job. All right, round two, on to offer up. Same thing, you guys can find a Camaro, a Chevelle, a Charger. Hopefully it's a, a little easier than the last one there on eBay, but I don't know, let's offer up. Good luck, you got two minutes. All right. Two minutes? Two minutes. Don't mess up as far as All right, I'll do my best. <laughs> I think the pressure's on Alex at this point. Oh, definitely. Man. Yeah. Do you feel the pressure going against a legend like Esparza? I do, but like I do this stuff like almost every day. Like I'm looking at cars. What kind of cars do you normally look for? Um, Japanese cars like Nissan 240s, um, Honda Civics, like that classic your, 90s stuff. That's your wheelhouse? Not really, no. That's kind of what I'm looking to get into. Um, German cars, European I think I'm wasting trash. Your time, I feel bad. You, you are, you are. You're sandbag. You're, yeah, you're asking uh, what questions. Is it? What's the word you're uh, sabotaging? Yeah, yeah. I need that 10 bucks. Yeah, I'll pay you. I'll pay yeah. you later. Trader. All right, guys. We've got 15 seconds left. This is it. Make or break time. Let's go. All right, I'm ready. All right, we're going to do a little. All right. And we got. Five, four, three, two, and one. Wrap it up, ladies. Okay, um, this time we'll start with Alex. Let's see what you got on offer up. What do you pick? I chose a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle. Um, this car I chose because it's sixty. It's five. It's fifty nine thousand five hundred dollars. So um, it's already got a four fifty four under the hood. It's running and driving. Power brakes. It has a twelve bolt rear end. Um, Basically, you still have $35,000 left to upgrade suspension, change the transmission if you want, and just you know get it running in a dialed condition. So um, yeah, that's why I went with this Chevelle. Is that purple? It looks like it's kind of like a frosty bluish color. Purple and makes it go faster. That's kind of why it shows that too. Yeah. Blue is, is faster than basically all other colors. Mm. Well, that's good to know. Yeah. There you go. It's yeah. in the paint. Take note, judges. Uh, blue is faster. Blue is faster. Um, yeah. All right, Esparza, what do you got? All right, so uh, I went just straight for the jugular, and I got like the most iconic car probably ever made, a 57 Chevy Bel Air. This one is a convertible. So top of the line as far as like, just when you think of a classic car, this is it. Um, it's red, so it's hard to argue with the color. It is $92,000, but that's because these cars have a ton of value. They're just Everyone wants one, and this car has been upgraded. It's got a bigger 350 engine, it's got an overdrive transmission, uh, AC, disc brakes, power windows. So it's definitely a resto mod, even though it looks very original from the outside. Um, it's got all the upgrades. So like with the hood shot, you wouldn't know. This thing just looks like a classic 50s car interior. It's just beautiful right out of the factory from these cars. You can see the process here. He's got a picture of it just being built from the frame up. So you know everything's like perfect and dialed. Although, I mean, it's $92,000.
just the cost of that car plus doing a frame up restoration you'd be way deeper into it um and it's a 57 chevy convertible i really like it's hard to find a cooler car than that um is that salvage title <laughs> no, no, no. It, says? No, no, no. it doesn't it doesn't say anything well if mine's salvage yours is salvage see mine doesn't have ac so that's actually here it says right here clean title so we're good oh, okay we're, we're good, right. good. Well. 25,000 miles yeah yours clean title too yeah good looking car definitely uh but power hard. steering <laughs> But I'm going to solicit the vote for the 57 Bel Air for sure. We won't lead this in any direction, but it sounds like another tight one between you two. Alex, I don't know, man. You're going to have to step up this last round. All right. And in the last round, we're going to change up the platform one more time. This time, we're going to search Craigslist for the same cars. Oh. Um, I think we've all been on Craigslist. It's a wonderful platform. So you guys got two minutes. Dive in. All right. Alex, I expected more trash talk out of you. Oh. I'm a little bit disappointed. Dude. <laughs> so just so you guys know, us here in the office, there's a lot of great trash talkers here. Alex is one of the best, so that's why we've invited him on today. Yeah. He may be a little quiet, but when he comes out of his shell, he's a piece. He's holding back. He's holding <laughs> back. Got How's the search going as far as you find something good? In yeah, there? we're just perusing, you know? We're just, uh, I was told that I'm not allowed to, oh, okay, never mind, I got it. Are you looking for motorhomes again? I saw this car. Hey. Dude, isn't that your car? <laughs> Should I create my own listing for my car <laughs> just for these games? I'm getting shit. some ideas, man. Yes. I'm like, maybe. All right, we got okay. a little less than one minute left. Uh oh. You better get your acting gear, Alex. You're I'm so going with a project, but you know what? You know what? I'll just save it until we're presenting. I got one. You got one? Yeah. All right. Um, I think we still got 10 seconds left on the clock, but if nice. you already found one, let's cut this thing short let's and dive right in. Yeah, let's dive in. All right, Alex, I'm going to start with you on the Craigslist. Oh, what man. did you look for and why? I looked for a Camaro, tried and true, classic, popular resto mod. Um, this one that I found is. Uh, $95,000, so that's using up most of the budget. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's already got a lot of stuff done to it. So it's got an LS2 under the hood, it's manual transmission, Ride Tech Air Ride suspension, Ride Tech four link. It's got upgraded wheels, disc brakes. Um, this car is out of the box. It's clearly out of the box, ready to go. Um, maybe minor adjustments, but seats, everything, the interior looks amazing. So for 95 grand, like, seems like you're getting kind of a instant showstopper with this nice. one. Is it a fast color? Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah, definitely. Right. Orange. Oh, Looks like it just came out of a fire. It's like copper. <laughs> it's orangish copper. All right. I don't know. That's orange. Okay. Yeah. Regardless of the color, good effort. All right, Chris Esparza, you chose. What did you get and why? Uh, I also did a first gen Camaro, a 68. Uh, this one is a project. I figured. Um, with the $39,000 asking price, you can like go crazy on this car. Although it has a ton of really good parts already. So just bang for the buck. That's why I picked this car. I thought it was the best deal. Um, let's look at, let's read a little bit about it. It's, it's a black Camaro. So I prefer black over like some of these other bright colors that are very personalized. Um, black is just, you can't go wrong. So it says the only thing this car needs is wiring and tuning. Um, but it's been fully restored otherwise. It's got a ton of aftermarket parts, a full stereo system, all the gauges, uh, the interior is custom. It's got a 383 stroker, which is over 450 horse is what it says. It's also manual five speed. It's got a TKO 500, um, Hall EFI, Hydra Boost. Um, it has a full TCI racing front clip. So the whole front suspension is all custom clip. It's not bolt on parts. It's like uh, fabricated parts. Um, so. I think at the price point, you know, you have everything here to get everything except the LS that his car has, but I think this is a better looking car. Um, so what are you going to do with that remaining like 60 grand? Yeah. So 60 grand. I mean, if you want to, you could put a supercharged LS in this, if 450 horsepower is not enough. Um, I mean, there's not much to do. Like maybe you could pay somebody to do the wiring and some tuning, but you're really, you're going to have a lot of money left over and you're going to have a bitch in black Camaro. Um, that's exactly what that is. A bitchin' Camaro? Yeah, bitchin' Camaro. How about yep. that? So, cool car, um, not the most expensive car, but I think the value's there. It's a good project. This is kind of how you want to buy a project. Like, all the expensive stuff is already bought. Most of the hard part's done. I mean, you can come in with, like, 
uh, you know, a fresh breath of air and just finish this thing off and it's your car and you're cruising it. So that's why I chose this one. All right. I got to admit, that's a, that's a really good flight. Kind of a good sure. deal. Oh, should we, should we uh, pass this over to the head honcho? And it might be. Maybe, I was going to say. Maybe see this make a good giveaway <laughs> car. Shoot. Shoot. Button and just send it over to head. I've actually, like, that thing's got I have some bought money. a car from this auto storage place where the pictures are. Yeah. Um, they have a lot of cool cars at that storage place and sometimes the owners want to sell them. Um, and it was a good transaction. So All right. kind of a cool car. All right, so there it is. I think we were gonna have the judges pick a winner, but still guys out there, I would love for you to drop some comments in. Who do you think won? Chris Esparza or Alex Strong? Let us know. Give a comment, drop some knowledge on us. Um, until next time, if you wanna check out where to find the best project cars, be sure to check out our latest episode on YouTube, and it'll help you along the way. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Alex. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is a clear-cut winner. One person crumbled under the pressure, <laughs> one rose to the occasion, and the winner is... All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, what we'd really like you to do is drop some comments down there. Let us know who you think won. Obviously, there was a clear-cut winner, but maybe you liked Alex. Maybe he had a little bit of charm. There was something going on there. Just let us know how you felt about this episode. Tune in next week to the next episode of Fix Your Pass Game Show Style. And if you can, click the link below to find the top seven sites on the internet where you can find great project cars. We just made a new video. It's got all that information. It's fantastic. And again, tune in next week where you can see a new challenger. Thanks so much. <laughs>